be outside, but when we do, it, it is, is because, because we, we have, have a reindeer, reindeer, we have Santa, we have Santa's, hel Santa's helpers all here, and we have some pretty special friends trying to help us welcome in the Yuletide season. So let's let's get introduced to this guy over here. All right, I want to start with Nick Ledbetter. He is a reindeer farmer in the Stillwater area. If you guys didn't know, this is actually how we fly Sky 5 with reindeer. <laughs> uh, no, this is Prancer, as you said. Prancer is actually a girl. But tell us about these guys. Are they nice? What's the difference between reindeer and regular deer and she's a little having a little snack yes yes they, they love eating on the grass uh yeah of course they're nice santa wouldn't pick a reindeer that That's wasn't right. nice and so all of these are straight from the north pole uh borrowed you know santa let us borrow them and so uh, other the biggest difference in a regular white-tailed deer you see around here in reindeer is even the females have antlers on the reindeer She's got some pretty massive antlers too. I mean, these are these are powerful. I'm trying to stay back a little bit. Um, but you used to have a normal nine to five job and you decided to say, you know what? I don't want my nine to five job anymore. I want to be a reindeer farmer. Walk us through that, that process, why you decided that and how you got into this. Well, it was the Polar Express. Yeah, we had the Polar Express in Bristow and uh, I was there with my family and we decided that, you know, we had Santa Claus, we had the elves, we had carolers, we had everything but live reindeer. And so uh, I went to my wife and said I would like to uh, start raising reindeer. And, uh, at that moment she wasn't real proud of her choice of husband, but uh, it has worked out great for us. Nick Ledbetter, thank you. She just touched me with, and we're okay. Everybody's okay. We also have Santa, we have the elves, we have all the helpers. Not just, not just Prancer here. So let's meet everybody else. We're having a party out here in the cold. Yeah, and I know, New, Nick, you said that you worked at the Polar Express or that these reindeers are part of the, hold on, let me take out this earpiece real quick. I am standing here with Jessica Kin Cannon. You are with the Polar yeah, Express. Yes, you're the spokeswoman. And tell us kind of about this ride. I mean, you're really helping bring this story to life. It's some of our favorite Christmas stories uh -huh. ever. Um, tell us about it. We are having a real live train come to Stillwater. You get your golden ticket. You can get on board. We have dancing chefs. We have Santa and his elves. And we also have hot chocolate and chocolate chip cookies. And you get on board, you listen to music, you get to hear the story of the Polar Express as you travel towards the North Pole. And I think my favorite scene from that movie is when, you know, everyone comes out, they're served hot chocolate, everyone's dancing. Yes. Is there a dance? Is there like a big performance oh, yes, on board? There is. Okay. All of our dancing chefs do the hot, hot, hot chocolate song. Uh -huh. I don't know the dance, but, <laughs> but they you can do. Try. And, yeah. um, it's just a really fun time. The kids dress up in their pajamas, parents dress up in pajamas, and it's a really fun time. Okay. And for anybody who's listening, they're like, hey, that sounds like a great family event. Yeah. I want to take my kids to do that. How do they do that? Where do they go? What's yeah. the cost? Um, it ranges from $37 to $87. You can go to visitstillwater.org. Um, they have all the information about all the holiday events. We also have um, Visit Stillwater has free carriage rides going on. We have Santa downtown. We have um, food trucks, the reindeer. We have all kinds of events going on in Stillwater for the holidays. Okay. So much fun. And Santa, just have to ask you, Oklahomans, naughty or nice list this year? Oklahomans are nice this year. <laughs> okay. What is what has been the top gift this year? What are what are most kiddos asking for? They are requesting laptops. Are they really? Yes. I asked it for a, I asked for a Barbie for Christmas. A thousand dollar laptop? Are you kidding me? Yes, and also the iPhone number seven. iPhone seven. You must be busy making iPhones and laptops. Um, it's uh, it's it's a struggle sometimes, but we can do it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I feel like an IT person instead of a, <laughs> an elf, but we get it done. It's for the kids. This has been so much fun. What a great event. We have the whole KOCU gang. We see all of you out here trying to take selfies. Look at the baby, the little guy over here. This is a little boy. What did you say his name was? That is Rudy. That is Rudy. Yeah, that is Rudy. That's Rudolph's little brother. Rudolph's little brother. Yeah. He's still working on his antlers. He is only six months old. Oh, so they grow gradually. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. And he will shed those and he will grow back a, a regular size pair next year. Do they get along, the reindeer guys? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think these reindeer are ready to fly back to the North Pole to warm up a little bit. It's probably warmer at Santa's workshop than it is here in Oklahoma City.